I was at Michael's yesterday. I was at actually Hobby Lobby yesterday. And I was looking for the punch that punches the bottle caps. They didn't have it. And I actually walked out of Hobby Lobby without buying a thing. I was actually so proud of myself. Hmm, how many of us can say that? <laughs> but then I ran over to Michael's and I saw this. And I was thinking, wow, John can make this, but for $5, I'm thinking I want it. And they did have the, the hole punch. And I'm assuming that there was one there for leather, but this was in the jewelry. So I'm assuming that, oh, it was open too. I didn't even notice that. That it's gonna punch the bottle cap. So, huh. All right, no big deal. Did not even notice, huh. Sugar, I hate when that happens. feel like the, uh, okay. All right, I'll try it. But I saw this and I was like, all right, this is really cool. So I wanted to see, obviously it's gonna hold the jewelry stuff, but I have, well, let's see what it holds and what it doesn't hold. Some of the punches, some of the, um, not as well as I thought it would. Oh, that's stinky. It doesn't even hold that. Well, kind of does. I guess it really is for jewelry. These I don't need to leave out all the time. So you know what? They can go back where they were. And this here definitely does not fit in there. And now I'm kind of bummed. I, I don't know if this is actually going to be what I thought it would be. But I will keep you posted on that. If you have this, let me know. I'm kind of curious. I mean, I do keep some oh, tools laying around the office here. But that's not going to work either. Okay, hmm. I'm gonna leave this video up because I am kind of curious of if you use this. Okay, let me know what you all think of this. Yeah, I need opinions. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Have a great day and I will see you all real soon. Bye.